Hello everyone! The guys with Fed, and it is time for another edition of Try Hard Gaming with me, Roll Cage TV. Where I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of um, uh, a anxious appreciation. Anxious appreciation. I think that's the best way of putting it. Um, let me get the games loaded here, and uh, I'll explain why. I am recording this quite a bit earlier than, uh, like, 10 days or something um, before it's actually going live on YouTube. And uh, looking at my YouTube subscriber count, it's at, as of the time I am recording this, 96. And uh, my goal was to get to 100 so uh, I could set up a Discord. I mean, I could have before, but... My promise to myself and all of you is I would set up a Discord server once I got 100 subscribers on YouTube. I have well over that on Twitch. Legends I've had well over that sword. number of followers on Twitch for, today, for a long time, for years. Um, legends into a reality. And uh, forms, I'm now I'm now there. Of close. You can As of the time I'm recording this, it's close. As of the time this actually airs, there's a good chance that I will be over 100. And... Um, Actually, I should have said anxious appreciation, ap uh, apologetic anxious appreciation. Uh, I am not nearly ready yet. I've got to work on it. I'm probably going to, one of the reasons I'm trying to get ahead is so that I can take some time off of streaming to set some, uh, set some of that stuff up. But, um, yeah, I don't have that stuff set up yet. I do have a couple people who said they were going to help. I have to double check with them, uh, make sure that they're still willing to help. There's uh, lots of lots of commands and bots and and graphics and all kinds of other stuff to set up. And uh, so uh, please be patient. If you came over to YouTube to subscribe just because you get a you just because you were going to get a Discord, um, I appreciate it, and you will get that Discord. But it may uh, may be a couple weeks. Also, I'm going to. Um, I'm getting new internet equipment. Um, it's actually arrived, but I'm gonna wait until I'm sure I have enough. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I'm sure I can skip an entire week worth of streaming in order to set that up. Because if anything goes wrong, <laughs> it might take that long in order to get things reset up. And I don't want to. Um, I don't want to disrupt the. Uh, the flow of YouTube videos, though, though there will, even if there's some uh, time off of streaming, so. So, yes, all of that is, is leading to my panic, because I got a lot to do. Um, unless, of course, you know, people hear this and they go, wait a minute, you don't have a Discord? Unsubscribe! And suddenly my subscriber count goes, goes well below 100, <laughs> which I'm hoping does not happen. <laughs> but who knows? So, yes, thanks, everyone. Part of it, I was left, I, I should have perhaps anticipated because of, um, I lost new series, in case you're unaware. Weekdays released at noon on YouTube and streamed on Twitch at, starting on Sundays, starting at 12.30pm uh, p.m. U.S. Central Time, is uh, SnowRunner. So I've got a bunch of people who have recently subscribed because of that. And I gotta tell you, the first two, <laughs> the first you think I'd be competent in this game? No, the first two, um, the first two SnowRunner videos went, uh, uh, or streams went really well. And I watched back one of the videos today, quality check and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I've had a lot of uh, participation in Twitch, which is one thing that makes that better. I know this is a bad time. I've got a few uh, uh, regular viewers of the Civilization and. Um, but uh, they don't live in a time zone that can watch the Twitch stream live. So, um, yeah, so the, the Twitch streams are kind of quiet on the uh, during the weekdays, um, which is when I do the Civilization. So, but, yeah, I appreciate it. Soon there will be uh, a um, Discord once I get my act together. And, uh, I again, unless somehow I don't get over the hump and people start unsubscribing when they hear this <laughs> all right let's uh let's get the turn started here it's only been two days since i played last so you would think that i would remember what i was in the middle of doing but i i don't 
Somebody commented, wow, you got like 40 pins out there? What's That's crazy. I think they were watching an old video. I, I have more pins than that now. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Oh, and if the, um, if, if the uh, beginning of this, my voice sounded a little um, uh, staticky, it's because the air conditioner cut on because uh, it's unseasonably warm here in Minnesota. Not You would not think warm enough to run the air conditioner, but uh, um, I live in an apartment where it gets really, really warm. Even in the middle of winter when it's 50 degrees outside. So, uh, okay, let me um, get this turn started. Who was I looking at? I was looking at that guy, but I was also looking at those guys. Can I get them both on the screen? Maybe if I... I'll ignore that guy. These guys are also important. I can't get all of them on the screen either. Okay, let me just hit the turn button and see what happens. This is the important thing up here. I want to make sure that my Huacha survives. Um, and I don't know. It might be a long turn or it might be a short turn. I'm not turn, I'm not sure. opponent turn it looks like it's a long opponent turn okay here are these guys they are not sailing towards my huacha Ooh, that one guy disappeared these guys went south i got a guy going north okay so my guy has to go find him and take care of him and uh did this missionary go anywhere he looks like he did looks like he's running away oh and he's running away towards his uh guru Okay, well, I'm not going to chase him down, but I am going to collapse on that position. Uh, I will send uh, my apostle back to my territory. And this apostle, this apostle, I think, can I move these guys? This apostle, I need some flexibility out of him. Where can he go in one turn? Uh, not as far as I would like. He might stay there just because in case that guy changes his mind and turns back. So this apostle is going to defend the area up here where he's been attacking religiously. This apostle is going to defend this area here where he's been attacking. And um, this apostle is like a middle linebacker, I guess. Is that the analogy? I haven't watched football in a long time. He's gonna be, he's gonna go one to free safety. He's gonna go one direction or the other, depending on uh, where he's needed. I think. The fact that that guy fell back interests me. Maybe I should keep this guy here just to see if that scared him off. If that, if I could scare him off with one guy sitting there, all the better. But I think I'm actually gonna move him back. In. Um, I might want to s actually send a guru down here or make a holy site down here somewhere. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, where I was watching and then I wasn't watching. Where did this guy go? I ran into a bug last time. Then when I moved the general, it didn't move the uh, guy with the general. So I am going to move the ironclad. Okay, that's the guy I care about up there. And I'm going to move here to make sure I've got a little bit of a uh, zone of control going. And these guys are all one shot for me because they've got... Um, they have entry-level people. Boy, he's got a lot of sh boats here now. Uh, these are all like beginning ships, like galley ships, and uh, I've got an ironclad, so they're all one-shots, but that doesn't mean they won't still take out this Watcha. Well, it's very important to me. I have to uh, try to get him landed. Oh, good. There's land there. Oh, that's perfect. There's land there. I won't be able to get a shot off now, but that's a great place to shoot these guys from. So next turn, I'll be able, turn, I'll be able to shoot these guys. 
So I actually have one Huacha in position. And uh, I can leave this also here so that if I get, like, you know, out here somewhere, so that if he launches a, a ship, I'll be able to destroy it as well. Because I don't want to take out, I'm, in case, the plan is, I have so much of this area back here that is unviewable to me and unviewable to anyone, because I'm at the top of the map. If I take out a barbarian encampment, there's a chance that a new one will spawn right there. So my goal is to have Watcha sitting close enough that anybody new that shows up, they can uh, they can take out as soon as they show as soon as they appear. They can take out. Can I sneak in here and get this musket man melee strength 52? These guys are much lower than that, right? I want to sneak in and grab this. I know he's going to get attacked, but that's okay. The archer will. I'm granted a what? what was I granted? Okay, now I got another guy back there. I mean, the musket man is much stronger than these guys, but... Um, still, I don't want to go get too crazy with him. I can't, couldn't see what I was granted. tips on. Okay, and these guys can now come here. They probably can't shoot yet. Okay, but they're in good cover there. They need protection from these guys because he's just a regular archer. He's holding his own out there until I can get this Huacha up here coming down here. I've got, I've got a Huacha here coming down, I think, and maybe one here coming down. So on the two bar the three barbarian encampments I know about in the world right now that I have to contain are those three there, here, and here. Right, yeah. So yeah, that's the goal on that front. And then on the Holy War front, um He's got a bunch of gurus, and he occasionally sends out an apostle, and is sending them north, and is sending them west. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm defending against that. I'm defending against, trying to defend against a cultural victory. One way to do that is to steal great works from Montezuma, but unfortunately, I made an alliance with Montezuma, so I, my spies can't do anything right now. Uh, but that's about to end. I think my all my alliances are about to end. I'll renew alliances with these two. Um, but yeah, culturally, um, even though I'm ahead of Montezuma, he's getting more tourism per turn, I believe. Culturally. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting 30 per turn. He's getting 45 per turn. And it shows me in the league because I have more tourists right now but he's getting one and a half times the number of tourists i am getting per turn i'm not getting a lot of tourists per turn so i might have to um i need more builders like crazy i can build some seaside resorts i can try to fill up my great works thing i'm slowly getting great writers i think um but i only have two theater districts so um, how do you get these again? Relics. I think it's like, it's a upgrade to an apostle if they die. They give you a relic. Something like that. Anyway. So yeah, I've got, I've got room for three more works of art. Or works of music. And i got room for three works of art. So, I'll be able to get more tourism. But right now, I only have, you know... I'm only getting four tourism per turn from Great Works. I can increase that by quite a bit if I can get some great writers and people. And what's, well, how am I doing on great people? Um, great people, here it is. I'm getting great scientists like crazy. I'm getting close to getting a great merchant. Um, fairly close. Ah, I'm very close to getting a great writer. What does Alan Turing give me? Here's your eco for computers and one random technology of the modern era. Okay, that's cool. Um, 
yeah, I'm in the lead on this. Um, I'm not, I mean, I'm in the lead on this. How many per turn are they getting? I'm getting seven per turn. They're getting 3.4 per turn. Ooh, okay. So I'm actually 5.7 Montezuma's getting. He's the important one. Okay, so I'm I'm going to get this writer, it looks like. I mean, if not this one, I just get the next one, although the next one be a little bit more expensive. So in 8 turns, I'll get this writer. Uh, I'll get an artist in 29 turns, which is a lot. So I got to start stealing some great works. I don't know, he doesn't have, Montezuma doesn't have any great works of art. It's just writing he's got. Um, does anyone have great works of art? Let's see. Um, do you have... You had some... You do have... You've got a relic. Ooh. I'd love to steal that. That's eight per turn. Eight tourism per turn. Um, oh, but she's been... She's close to my border, and she's been a good friend of mine. She's been keeping... She has no religion, and she's been. I, my religion is this friend. My religion and the other one of the other guy's religions are fighting each other for that half of the board. But she's kept that guy down, which has been really important to me, because otherwise he might be pushing me for a religious victory as well. So I kind of want to keep her happy. Um, but Montezuma is the one. He's got, um, yeah, he doesn't have any art, but he's got four works of writing, which is only two per turn. So if I get a great artist, I'll, I'll have, uh, advantage. Can it, can I see on the board, um, where he is? That's just an amphitheater, okay? And it's got two great works, which I would love to get, and, um... This was the other place that had, uh, and that's just a theater square. It doesn't even have any great works. How does it not have any great, how does it not have an amphitheater yet? Oh, here's the one. Oh, who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? I'm in the wrong place. I've got that spy in the wrong place. This spy needs to go here. That's the other place that has the amphitheater. I've got one spy there and one spy there. Okay. Try to remember. That's got... Oh! I got a ding -a in my ear! Who was that? What was that? Oh, I just got a follow! Uh, Murcialo, thank you very much, brother or north sister, for the follow. I appreciate it. Wow. I was not, a, I was not expecting that. Thank you much. Um... Not even sure if they're in chat, but thank you very much. Okay, so this guy wants to move to somewhere else, and I can move him. Um, uh, uh, where? Click the city to Wait a minute. I can't move him to his cities at all now? Uh, apparently I can't even move him to, uh, Allied City. Wait. Okay. Well, maybe I'll remember to move him. I'll remember to move him when I go to say, okay, steal a great work, and there's no great works there. Yeah, he had, I just looked and see who had a theater square, and I thought they had a, I saw, I must have saw on the thing, oh, they have a theater square, I'll move there, not realizing that, this one's even more important. So anyway, regardless, uh, the point being, they also have only an amphitheater. So how is he getting so much culture? It's got to be from... Uh, it's got to be from... Uh, um, these things. Wonders. I can never... I don't see... I don't even see all of his... Well, I guess I can't do see all of his land now. He's kind of restricted down here. 
I haven't put any cities in here to fight for him, but he's pretty restricted. I don't know. Let me check the settler, even. Whoops, wrong thing. There are some cities here he could put in. Um... Yeah. I don't know. If he gets one more city, it's not going to make a huge amount of difference unless he wants to suddenly go to war with me. Actually, it would make a difference if we put a holy site right here. But I'm still... I'm out producing. I've got... I don't want to win. I'm going for a science victory. And I may end up winning a points victory instead because my points are quite a bit higher than anyone else. Not quite two to one, but quite a bit higher. I'm getting 237 science per turn, which is way more than anyone else. And if you look at this, uh, the uh, uh, technology tree, you can see on the bottom there where the turn marker is, I'm an age ahead of everyone. Um, a whole age ahead of everyone. So, I mean, I would win a science victory eventually at this rate. If I have the, uh, if I have the chance to. Okay, what did I say I was gonna make? I was gonna make builders like everywhere, because I need builders like crazy. Let's turn this on. Let me look at. Uh, uh, I could make an art museum in eight turns, which is pretty good. Uh, I get an extra great writer point and an extra. Let's see, I, I want to see are there wonders I can get, or are there um, um, theater square festival, music base, product device, culture every turn, and a small amount of great writer, great artist, and great musical points when it's finished. Okay, uh, the culture I don't care about. It's only the tourism I care about. Uh, Temple of Artemis, I can get that in four turns. Plus three housing. Does Roll City need housing? Who needs housing? Plus one amenity? Oh, how how is this not taken yet? Must be adjacent to a camp. Ooh. How long will it take them to do it? Um, it only needs to be adjacent to a camp. I've got one camp there. And it provides housing, which is going to be important. I probably want to put it... I'll have two camps there. It doesn't get any bonuses. But I, it's... I kind of want to put it out of the way, and this is a very barren square right now, so uh, yeah, I'll add that to my queue. Actually, I might swap it in my queue, to be honest. Is there anything I want to chop here? Um, I don't have a builder nearby. If I had a builder nearby, I could chop these trees. Because I want to make a campus here anyway, so I want that to be a mine. It's my nearest builder. You. You have are you have movement somewhere? No, that's less important right now. Actually, they do get an amenity. But um take to get here and chop this. Why did you go off my screen? Six turns to get here, so by the time he gets there and then he chops, it'll be done. So, yeah, not worth it. If I lose that right at the end, though, I'll be mad. How can how soon can this builder get there? Probably not. He's new. Um, he's probably going to take longer. 
Why can I not see any of this? Seven turns, yeah. So he'll chop and uh, it'll be worthless. Um, I mean, both of these woods things are worth chopping because it's either mines or um, lumber camps, and they're both, you know, the same. So I think they're pretty much the same. Because they're hills and woods, both. So you really have your choice of, of bonus. Anyway. So I wanna put I wanna put a mine there anyway. I wanna put a thing here anyway, so I might as well send him up there. And that guy was coming here because he needs one. Right? He doesn't have a mound yet. Okay. Oh, he does. Does he have a mound, or is this somebody else's mound? He has a mound. Okay. But once I get something, oh, I gotta look this up. What is the technology or the civic that gives me two points once I get the mound? I can't remember this stuff. It's too much for my old brain to remember. Somebody who's working his way through the series has said to me, um, um, he's he yells at the screen. <laughs> he's he's both entertained and frustrated. Um, additional house age when cult or heritage are discovered. And um, food for adjacent districts. Okay, that's not going to mean much. Uh, natural history. Now, natural history is one I'm avoiding. The cultural heritage is okay. I think it's natural history because that sets puts relics in the or artifacts in the ground and artifacts in the ground are um, um is that a science or is that uh natural history is civic I believe uh Yes, it's a civic, and that reveals, right, that reveals relics, so I'm avoiding that, but getting the second, which provides another housing, right, but providing the, um, um, mound, or providing the, uh, um, uh, extra amenity is, uh, Oh no, cultural heritage gives me the extra housing. Hmm. Yeah. Well, eventually I'll get the second amenity. Yeah, the thing is, you only get one amenity from the first Cahokia Mound. Upon it, discovering natural history, cities will be plus one amenity from their second Cahokia Mound. Okay, so having two doesn't mean a lot. Although cultural heritage does double the housing, which since they provide housing, um, gold plus amenities, amenities from the second food for every food has been discovered, plus one food for every two adjacent districts once food has been discovered, or for every adjacent district once a place of parts is resource, plus one housing, receive an additional housing once cultural heritage is discovered. Okay. And cultural heritage is I think I've already, have I already discovered that? Uh, heritage. Uh, requires conservation. Ooh, that's pretty far along, so I might not have that. I think conservation is pretty far along, right? Because conservation is like right before natural history or right after. Yeah, conservation is after natural history. Okay. So I really need natural history. But that might screw up a lot of stuff. If I'm still expanding. Because I was like, oh, I want to put... I've got it laid out so I can put, like, a mound here. Oh, nope, you can't put a mound here because you need a... Uh, 
ar an archaeologist to be able to dig up the relic because there happens to be a relic there. So now you can't use that square until you get the... Yeah. I don't like the way that is. You, do, you don't even have time to prepare because you can't get the archaeologist until you reveal in the exact same... If you could get an archaeologist like a thing before you reveal them... I mean, I guess that doesn't make sense either, but getting the archaeologist on the same turn that you reveal the relics, because the relics actually inhibit you from doing other things, you cannot dig up a relic, you cannot just build on top of a relic. Uh, you can't be like, you know, uh, uh, a, uh, um, what's, what am I thinking of? Industrial Revolution, uh, yeah, Industrial Revolution, early 1800s era Brit magnet, industrial mag magnet. You can't, you know, just build on top of relics and not care. If you know there's a relic there, you have to dig it up. You can't use builders to destroy it. So I'm pretty sure, unless I get that rule wrong, somebody correct me. Oh, okay. Let me look at these. Fire started. Okay, where's the fire started? No place that I can... Whoa, no! I do care about that! No, that's my coffee! Oh, wait. I'm getting coffee. Am I getting coffee somewhere else yet? I'm getting coffee here. Okay. Whew, that was my only source of coffee for the longest time. I would have to send a builder there myself to uh, prepare that. Ugh. Ugh. I hate... I got disasters turned off. I got it set to zero, and yet they're still not off. Civic boosted suffrage. I don't know what did that. Completed a trade route. Trading post view screen in Ganju. Okay. Good. Because that means I have a trader available. And I had a city state that wanted to trade here. I should have it marked. Um, there. Yes. Venice. Venice wants a trader. So... Let's go. And I'm getting a shipyard soon, so I should get another trader. Um, choose a route. Choose a route. Yeah, sure. There to Venice is fine. Um, probably not the most prolific, but... Six gold? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. And I get the, I get the thing. And that actually gets me nothing. <laughs> it gets me nowhere near getting the suzerain status there. So, uh, yeah. Train of cavalry. For your crew to great musician, that's going to happen soon, which is good. Because they're, they're the one that I was really trying to keep. Construct an encampment. I could do that eventually. Oh, Zanzibar wants a trade route. Oh, that would have probably really helped me if I sent him to Zanzibar. Um, it's only influenced by me. Okay. Why do I not have that? Oh, I do have that marked here. Zanzibar. Okay. I would probably have to send... Well, I would send the trader to here just to be safe so that he doesn't get pillaged across the water. Um, how soon is my other trade route expiring? One of the others. Um, that's how long the trade route is. Does it tell me? Oh, oh trade post established. Total number of turns to complete this route. Four, okay. It doesn't tell me when it expires, though. Isn't it supposed to tell me how many turns to complete the route? Although this interface doesn't always do that. Nine turns to complete. It doesn't tell me when it's expired. Because this can't be... Oh no, yeah, okay, this was the new one I did. Okay, so maybe it is four turns. Maybe Brussels expires in four turns. Okay. 7.7. .7. Um... 
So, let's see. I gotta get rid of that other tack. I just realized. Six gold. So if I sort by gold, I mean, I'm sure I could have got a better deal than seven. How much to trade with them? I probably, there's no way to tell yet. I mean, maybe there is. But I didn't. Oh, did I remove the tack? I must, I must have removed the tack. Oh, without realizing. How about that? I usually don't remove tax ever, because I forget. No, Venice. It wasn't Brussels. It was Venice. That's that's why. <laughs> I remembered, but I had forgotten. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um. Yes. Got it. And all the way back to where I was before. Nine turns. Two envoys when you build a wonder, including Apadana in this city. Including Apadana? Once you build adjacent to your capital, two great work slots. Holds any type. Ooh! Oh, when I build any wonder, I get two great? Oh, this is a great one. Every envoy I would get... Oh, I might want to slow down the other one then. Okay. Um, who do I... I've got desert here that's not doing me much good. I can't put a mound there. I could put a district here. Then I'd get a district triangle. Um, here I didn't want to put a district because it's... Oh, I can't put districts here and here. Any mines to do this. I mean, I, I can, but it would be a big mistake. Um, oh, boy. See, this would be good. Hmm. Do I save this spot for another district for a district triangle? But that means I couldn't put farm here. And here I could make a nice farm farm sheep triangle thing. I'll put it here. And now, is there a place to chop out? It, it, no. Is that a hill or is that... It's not a hill. Okay. So if I want production out of there, I shouldn't chop there. Um, doesn't look like there's any really strong chop candidates. I mean, it is a candidate, but if I wanted to put a lumber mill there, I do need to worry about production as well as uh, science to win a to win a victory. Okay, well, if I'm going to get two envoys for everyone that's built, I take it that means built afterwards. Let me see. Let me look that up. What was it? Appa. It feels like a waste of time to me, but I want to not have to worry about. It just says the exact same thing. Um, move game started after this. Please, when you build a wonder and clean up it on it in the city. Oh, when I build it in that city. Oh, okay. Well, that's not as great, but still, I could use the two envoys. And I could definitely use the two great work slots. I won't have to worry about any more theater districts or anything, because then I can hold even uh, even music. If they should get that close. And I get tourism from rock concerts, which I'm not planning ever getting. So, okay. Well, it's too late to change it now anyway, because I laid the foundation. Um, I could just not ever finish it, but I might as well finish it. Okay, and you were waiting to see where that guy was going and you were going to stay there right yeah so you wait and you were also waiting to see where that guy goes unless i want to say well i've got one guy there he can't go through 
If he tries to go from this way, he's going to run square into my guy. So he's probably going to go around um, to the north. So let's go here. See if I can discourage him from coming there. Because then I have this Inquisitor here to defend my territory. Right here? Yes, okay. Sorry for all the sudden movements. Um, was that the guy I just told to move there? Yeah, okay. Let's get the rest of your turn. You, you are going to stay there. And you. Wait a minute, did I not just skip your turn? I thought I just said skip your turn. You skip the rest of your turn. Okay, and you skip. Let's see where that apostle may end up going. Builder! Um. I had a plan for you. Oh, I was gonna start doing fish things. So I wanna move her down here to do fish things. And this builder is the one that's coming down here, right? He already has movement order, I think. Yes, he's coming over there. So, I need food. Do I need food here? Um, I do need food right now, I think, because I've got it on food growth. I mean, I could just go ahead and snag this right now, which is better food. But I want to, no, I want to do, I want to do the fish thing. Why is it not showing me that? Oh, it's not showing me that because I don't have that space yet. Okay. So let's come over here and do the fish thing. How many builds does he have left? Two. Okay, so he can do his two fish things here. But it's going to be more important to do fish down here because they don't have a lot of other food options around them. And I would like it if I could use, you know... Don't have to use these for food, too, but just because they would improve my science. I think I have a builder being sent over the new place, right? Am I even building one? Okay, you! You! Uh, he took damage. Did he take damage last turn, or did he just take damage this turn? Um, I think the bombard damaged, or the zap damaged him. He's got to continue to run away. I need a Huacha down here. I don't have enough to buy one, that's for sure. Okay. You run back here. Yeah, you're not, were you in defensive terrain? You were. Is there a defensive six nearby? Wooded Hills? No. Well, there's one here, right? Yeah. It's not nearby. But I can get there this turn. Okay, you go here. I mean, it's really giving up a lot of space. I want to cut the Bombard off. If he starts attacking this guy, it's okay. Or whatever it is. It's like a catapult or something. Small. The scout, I lost the ability of the scout to actually scout right now, though. Um, that's okay. I didn't even realize that there was a Barbarian around here somewhere. remember where he was, but, uh, bad dude, right there, somewhere around there, there was a bad dude, I need to go, I need to go contain him, so I'm gonna have another one to contain here, and I think I had a watch, I forgot all about this one, okay, can you, can you move cities now to Azkabalgo, no, I can't, so there's nothing you can do except gain sources. 
You can't even do that. I could send him to one of my cities, but all of my opponents I'm, I have alliances with, so they, they're worthless right now. Okay, you, builder, what were you building? You were coming up here to build another sugar for more food, I think. Got a nice farm triangle. No, uh, no, I don't have What is this? It's a commercial hub. Okay. Uh, I got lots of fertile ground around here. Oh, wait a minute. Was that a chop? That was a chop. But it's not an important chop. So I could put woods there. But if I take that out, I could make a triple farm. That's a good one. Oh, Cahokia Mound. How many mounds do I have? Oh, I was going to put a mound there. I have it marked. Um, what do they need? They don't need housing. They probably don't need food either right now. Jeez, they got 27 food. I can. Okay. So don't emphasize food. Back to emphasizing science. Um... Yeah, I don't think they had a mound at all. So, you build a mound here, because that's going to be one housing. It's one housing for each mound, but uh, also it's going to be next to Slate and next to two mines. Oh, no, that's the science thing I'm thinking of. Anyway, it's going to be a housing and an amenity, so that's important. So you build there. And you, you just build a farm there. You could... Is that, is that hills? It is hills, okay. So I could use a chop there. What am I working on here right now? Anything important? Uh, what is that, a bank? Research lab. Oh no, that actually wasn't important. Uh, because to get a full benefit, I need need a power thing. Taj Mahal, what does that give me? Eh. Favor, different fan. Eh. Eh. Plus culture. No, nothing here. Oh! Potato Palace. Victory slot. Culture. Yeah, again, culture and faith. Don't care about. Forbidden City. Wild card policy slot. Ooh, that's a nice one. Plus two relic slots. Oh, relic slots. I got relic slots I don't need now. Why relic slots? Okay, Forbidden City. Let's be Jays to a city center. Okay. Um... Oh, but I can't chop it out because the place I would put it would be where I wanted to chop. Wait, why can't I put it here? It has to be on flat ground? Um, what is that? What did it mean? Which was it? The Taj Mahal? No. Potato Palace? No, it was one with the wild card slot. Forbidden City, okay. Must be a James with a city center owned by the city. That's all it says. City center owned by the city. That's next to the city center. It is that space not owned by the city? No, it's owned by the city. It must not be able to be built on hills either. Oh, I wouldn't... Oh, no. I can put a wonder there. Oh, that I want to put a mine on. I should mark that. Hill next to the science thing. Um, eventually. Probably not super high priority. Oh, 
Well, let's see. Where would be the place to chop? This? Is this the place I was going to chop? No. Did he not say there was a good place to chop here? Or was that a different city? It's been a different city. No, here. Here was a good place to chop. Yes. Oh, and they couldn't, I couldn't put it there either, so, ooh. If I put it here, I lose the woods. Oh, I can't quite get there this turn. Uh, I don't want to... The research lab isn't important to me right now. It will be. But it's not important to me right now. Um, I don't have what's-his-name to make the chop really good, though. And it feels like just doing a wonder is a waste. Taj Mahal, how much... Cost 460 production. Okay. Actually, it wasn't that one, but... The other one was the same. Okay. 460 production. How much is a chop worth? Um, it's not going to tell me here unless I get over there. Ah! Decisions! Let's move him here. Wait a minute. Why? Was I looking there again? Oh, because I wanted to figure out what to do with this builder. So... I just want to chop here anyway, regardless. But let me... Go mine here now. It seems to be less productive. Oh, I don't have a mine here yet. And that's next to the university, right? So, yeah. Let's, let's just go down here and do a mine. Ooh, that's next to two universities. Okay. And that's coal for power plant. If I do a power plant, I don't necessarily want to do. You. You are strong enough to survive that, right? Yeah, 45 melee strength. You're strong enough to survive a hit. So you come here and draw fire. Um, and I know you are plenty strong enough. You draw fire from the ship, maybe, or just draw attention from them. But you are also strong enough to come here. When you can even get a promotion which is good. You don't need it right now. Because these are just puny little spearmen. They have... Um, I wish I could look it up easier, but I can't. They have 25 melee strength. They get a bonus against horses, though, so... This guy is a better guy. Oh, can he shoot yet? No. Okay. He'll shoot him too. But it's the ships I really need to contain. Oh, the scout could get in on the action. Um, I really need to start thinking about where I want my second city here. Where do I want my second city here? I don't know. Near the oranges, near... There's lots of good stuff here. Okay. Right here, I've got fish. I've got... I'm sorry, I got whales. I got fish. I've got high food yields. I got even higher food yields. I've got niter. Yeah, this looks like a good place for another city. And how far away is it? One, two, three, 
or five. Yeah, that's like an ideal place for another city, I think. So let's plan on putting a city there. Um, okay. And let's actually say this is a priority city. Because it will be at some point. I think I might have another settler coming that I was going to make put down here. I don't know. Do I have settlers in production anywhere? I can figure that out right away. Uh, first of all, do I have any settlers out now? I don't think I do. I don't. No. I'm, I got tons of watches. Wow. Okay. Um... So let's find a city. Look at the production. Look at the multi queue. Oh, I do have a settler coming. From there. Sangu. Okay. Oh, wait. I've got a settler coming out of here, don't I? I've got a settler queued up here. That's where the other settler was going to come from. So I've got two settlers queued up. Yes, after the granary and after a builder. Um, let's delay the builder. I've got two builders there now. Yeah, he still has five builds. He only has one build. The Settler is going to take me... Oh, 20 turns. That's why I have him. Yeah, I need to do some building to increase their population, increase their production. It's pretty bad right now. Okay. I guess the, I guess the Builder makes sense. And they need housing right away. can get these amenities. Boy, there's lots of amenities here to grab. I don't have good... Oh, mounds. I can do mounds. The mound there, you're telling me, is really good. He hasn't moved now, doesn't he? That will give me a housing right away. Um, yeah, let's, let's send him here to do a mound right away. And this is a good place for a, a farm slash whatever triangle. Is it a farm or a plantation for chocolate? I don't know. Yeah, let's say uh, either a farm or a mound. I don't think I'm going to put a mound there, can I? The mound has to be on. No, it has to be not on hills. So why wasn't it telling me I could put a mound there? Oh, I actually have it marked as putting a mound there. I mean, I have it marked as putting something there. I assume it was a mound. Yes. It was supposed to be a mound. Okay. Well, then that... Okay. Farms here. Farm triangle here. Good housing. It's a triangle. There isn't much else for it. I think I can put farms on hills now. Check that. I think. I got so many technologies. Um, red housing. Can we be built on grassland or plains? Grassland hills, plains hills. I thought there was a restriction about... Ooh, I get... Plus one food from each adjacent farm tile. 
uh, Jason Siwon, Fumira Jason Farm, she loves him comes out saying, yeah. So the Siwon is really like a boosted farm. Um, so yeah, maybe farm, farm, Siwon. That makes sense. And then... Farm, uh, and... Farm, okay. Okay, and I can, I built this one already, so I can get rid of the tack. Oops. Not placing it. Here. Oh! Come on, interface. Add tack. Placing there. Yes. Get rid of that tack. I put the wrong tack down, I'm sure. Oh! Okay, so where do you want to go, then? You come down here. And just kind of stay near this city. I don't think there's anybody else that's going to come around here. Yeah, that's a good place. I got whales. I got fish. I got food. All kinds of places. I got fertile land there. Uh, you. You. You were camping out here, right? Yes, you were camping out here. Did I put you on alert? No, I'll just skip. Um, you don't have a thing yet. You. Ooh, right. You can come down here and clear this area out. You'll even take out that guy, but I don't want you to take him out. Or were you coming up there? What was my plan for you? I don't think I had a plan for you. No. I don't remember. I had plans that I don't remember. Well, I can get across the ocean pretty quickly, so we're saying that. Three turns to get here. Why doesn't it give me numbers? Oh, two turns to get there, three turns to get here. Okay. Um. Yeah, sure. I don't know what else to do. You were needed somewhere. I got one guy going there. I've got an infantry going there. I've got too many units now military units. When I can start building cores, I'll be happy. Um, you, you come over here, and then I can swap. Take your place. You... make his move yet, but I want to send him there. So that guy can go back and upgrade. Although that's just going to cost me more gold. Ugh. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of gold for turn, but it goes fast, too. Because I buy up spaces. For one thing. Alright, well, it's been over an hour. It's time for me to take my first break. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. I'll be back in about two minutes. If you're watching on YouTube, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode will be the next weekday at 6.30 p.m. No, 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time. All right, folks. Twitch, stick around. YouTube next episode. Either way, I will see you then.